Abraham Lincoln, the 16th President of the United States, was born on February 12, 1809, in a log cabin in Hardin County, now LaRue County, Kentucky. He was largely self-educated, developing a love for reading and a keen interest in law. In 1830, Lincoln's family moved to Illinois, where he worked various jobs, including rail splitting and store clerking. He soon decided to pursue a legal career and became known for his honesty and sharp wit. In 1834, he was elected to the Illinois State Legislature. Lincoln's political career gained momentum, and he was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives in 1846. His opposition to the Mexican-American War and his stance against the spread of slavery garnered him attention. After a single term in Congress, Lincoln returned to his law practice in Illinois. However, the issue of slavery continued to escalate, leading to the Kansas-Nebraska Act of 1854, which further deepened the divide between northern and southern states. This tumultuous period in American history, known as, Bleeding Kansas, marked a turning point for Lincoln. He re-entered politics, joining the newly formed Republican Party, which opposed the expansion of slavery into new territories. In 1858, he engaged in a series of famous debates with Senator Stephen A. Douglas during their campaign for the Illinois Senate seat. Although Lincoln lost the Senate race, his eloquent arguments and moral stance on slavery elevated him to national prominence. In 1860, he secured the Republican Party's nomination for the presidency and won the election, becoming the first Republican president. Lincoln's inauguration in March 1861 was met with secession by southern states, leading to the outbreak of the American Civil War. Throughout the conflict, Lincoln faced enormous challenges, making crucial decisions such as issuing the Emancipation Proclamation in 1863, which declared that all slaves in Confederate territory were to be set free. Despite facing significant opposition and criticism, Lincoln's leadership guided the Union to victory in 1865. On April 14 of that year, just days after General Robert E. Lee's surrender at Appomattox Courthouse, Lincoln was assassinated by Confederate sympathizer John Wilkes Booth while attending a play at Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C. Abraham Lincoln's legacy is indelible. His leadership during a tumultuous period in American history solidified his place as one of the greatest presidents. His vision for a united nation, commitment to ending slavery, and unwavering determination continue to inspire generations.